Welcome everyone. We're back with more videos. I know, right? We gotta get this thing going. My name is Premier to Blood. Many of y'all know me. Many of y'all know me for other things. I have a very big internet presence. But outside of that, my name is Premier to Blood. This video is for all my Univer Region fans. Yes, many of my fans love the Univer Region. And in some piece of me, I enjoy the Univer Region as well. Not. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But make sure you smash the like button, show your support, make sure you check out the links in the description, make sure you follow me on twitch.tv slash from made of blood. It's all well not behind me, but it's all below me. Also in the link in the description. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the like button. Now, what can I possibly be talking about? We're gonna be talking about Pokemon of the Week, and Pokemon of the Week will be in the Univer region. One of the regions full of so much wonder and mysteries that I just could not take part of but multiple reasons and I can talk to you all about that I explained it multiple times in videos when I was streaming all kind of stuff and I wonder where I was streaming on mmm twitch TV my friend slash from here to blood so what Pokemon could I possibly talk about for Pokemon of the week well we're gonna be talking about Electros ah! Electros yes this Levitating eel of the sea. I think it's a lamprey. In my mind, I think it's a lamprey. Okay, before we even get to the nitty gritty of Electros, my personal experience with this Pokemon was awful. One, you had to find its basic form, which is Tynamo. Rare. The cave that it was in, it was rare to find. I always was looking for a male because during the time, uh, when I was playing Pokemon, I always had a thing where I wanted to catch male Pokemon and female Pokemon. It's, just, it's, it's not that important, but to me, during that time period, it was. I always wanted a male Pokemon, even though that was trouble when it came to breeding. Mm. Anyway, we're going to be talking about Electros. This Pokemon ability is Levitate, and it's Electric-type, which means it has no ground immunity. <laughs> Which is the biggest weakness to it. So it has no immunities. Every other move is resistant to. Also, this Pokemon has an amazing, I mean amazing stat. Well, besides speed, because base speed means, well, it's base 50 in speed. Which just tells you that it's very slow. Everything's gonna outspeed it. It's an electric type, it's slow. Ugh. Like, when it came to playing the Univer region, it was either Zeb Striker I was aiming for, or I was aiming for Electros. But the thing about it is, we're going, we're going to backtrack. I had problems always getting one, because I didn't know it needed a Thunderstone to evolve. So I'm evolving it from Tynamo. It's in the second stage. I'm like, how long is this Pokemon going to take to evolve? And then I realized, I need, a, I need a Thunderstone for it to evolve. Anyway... Back to what I was saying, stats wise, HP 85, attack 115, defense 80, special attack 105, special defense 80, but speed is very lacking because it's only 50, so it's getting outspeed by pretty much everything. It's going to get a revenge kill. It's going, it's going to. It may not get, unless you have gravity, which even I didn't learn gravity was a Univer region based move. I think it is. Someone in the comment section, please tell me. I think that move was found in the Univer region, gravity. But we're, we're getting off topic. Unless you have gravity, it's not going to get hit by ground type moves because of its ability to levitate. Big props to that. Also, like I said with Zep Striker, it could be a physical attacker, it could be a special attacker. Very good attacks. Also, it's very well-rounded, man. It has a very diverse move pool. It can learn Flamethrower, Rock Tomb, you know, all kind of moves. It can learn Grass Knock, U-Turn. Like, it's a tank and a pivot point, you know? And it can learn Toxic. Like, it can help out with a lot of situations. But at the same time, it has problems of its own, you know? That speed is horrendous. Base 50 just means you're a slow tank. Like, you could do some things, but if someone's faster than you, yeah. So, you wouldn't really waste your investments on its speed, because it could be a tank. I mean, 
base 80, that's a lot. Like base 80 and special defense and defense, that's a lot, my friends. That is a lot. Like that, like you know, you would hope for that to be its speed, you know, because it's an electric type. But no, 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 not all. Base, base, base 50. We're going back at that. Base, base 50. But with the help of our friend Celebi.net, which I get a lot of my research from, that many of y'all can look up for yourselves. It's in the link in the description. I'll always put it when we're talking about Pokemon of the Week. I know I'm clapping my hands, right? <laughs> but, yeah, with our help of our friend Celebi.net, you know, we learn how to use it. So, you know, for a full-on assault, Volt Switch, Giga Drain, Flamethrower, Knock Off, or Thunderbolt. Y'all should already know. Volt Switch, Pivot Point. Psh, psh, psh. And it does physical damage, so it, it helps. It stabs, and it does physical damage. That does a lot. Giga Drain, that makes it more mixed here, but you should already know that's for ground types. Flamethrower, grass types. Knock Off or Thunderbolt. You'd be stupid, in my opinion, to give it Thunderbolt, because that gives it two electric type moves, and you're going to be using it competitively, and then you're probably going to be using it in PU. Considering that its speed is so small, so I know it's small in the ranking, so it has to be PU in some way. But, knock off. Give it knock off. Knocks off items. Helps. Helps out a lot. Instead of giving it Thunderbolt just to take advantage of the special attack. Also, quiet nature, you know. With the investments of 252 in HP and special attack with 4 in special defense, you got quite a tank on your hands, to be honest with you. And Quiet Nature it speaks for itself. If you don't know the nature of Pokemon, please tell me in the comment section. I will educate you. This is what these videos are for. Educational purposes. As I'm going to help you all be better battle the battlers. La, la, la. So anyway, Pokemon of the Week, Electros. My personal experience with playing the Unova region, I was looking for two electric types out of all of them, and I know, right? There's quite a few. Especially since in the Univer region, it's only Univer Pokemon exclusive. You had to do the extra link in the mouth and use the Dream World to even get other region Pokemon and special abilities at that. And during the time of that, that was even hard in itself to get if you didn't have access of the internet. And Dream World don't really exist, so hidden abilities are not that hard to get these days. But, Electros, one of my hardest Pokemon to get of my lifetime when it comes to my experience of Pokemon of the Week because I didn't know I needed a Thunderstone to evolve it. What do you, what do, you do, you know? You, you raise a Pokemon up to like level 70 in the second stage and you wonder why it's not evolving. And then you hop on the internet and be like, oh, I'm a dummy. Let me go use this Thunderstone I have in my bag. Knowing that I probably have four already because I don't have a Pikachu. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't have a Jolteon, well, I don't have an Eevee, but you can get an Eevee in the Universe region, but I, I just didn't have one. And anyway, we're getting off topic. Electros, I want to know in the comment section your personal experience with Electros. Was it hard for you to get one? How long did it take you to get one? Did you even know that Tynamo Ty even had a um, third evolution, well, second, second stage? two-stage Pokemon, you know, but final stage. I say three because, you know, Tynamo, then it's second stage, then third stage. That's really three evolutions, but really it's two. I know. I like to... Uh, that is my way of thinking of Pokemon, you know, but, but that's not really the correct way of doing things, especially when it comes to the internet. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you all. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell me in the comment section your thoughts on Dynamo. What you think makes this Pokemon such a powerhouse? I get on um, Celebi.net that a good partner would be Skunk Tanks. And Skunk Tanks is one of my favorites in some ways due to, you know, center region. But I don't want to get off, off topic. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you stay around for the next, and I mean the next, Pokemon of the Week. I'm going to be bringing y'all more. Also, I'm doing it in this format because YouTube, when I did the last Pokemon of the Week for Metagross, YouTube probably gave me a copyright strike or did, did something did, did something I didn't like. 
And I just took a small break when it came to Pokemon of the Week. But I think I got a cool way of doing it now. Make sure you check out the link in the description. Make sure you link up with me on Twitch.tv because that's where I do a lot of my streaming. Twitch.tv, Remain the Blood. Make sure you get me to 100 followers. And make sure you get me to over a thousand views on Twitch. We're about to break a giant goal that I've been aiming for. Also, if you are looking for any of the Let's Plays and stuff that I was doing on Twitch, I still got the videos on Twitch. So you can look through all of them. All organized, all good. You can even see some of my highlights of when I was doing Shiny Hunting, which I will probably do a video of why I stopped doing Shiny Hunting. I didn't really stop. It's just my equipment shitted out on me. Oops. I wasn't supposed to say that on, on, on YouTube, right? Well, YouTube... You don't rule me. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.